ladies and gentlemen, my name is michael sylvester, your executive director for the urban project, the athletes in action urban project. and before i begin, i want to honor the founder of the project, paul curtis, who started the project in one ninety seven in chicago. we moved it to los angeles in two thousand as we recognized the need for indigenous leadership of a project like this in the host city in which it was held. and at the project, we try to do a few things we try to live, we try to learn, and we try to love we try to live in community one great big house, fifty people for thirty days through the month of june we live in community and we learn how to get along in community solve conflict, wrestle with one another, learn together we try to learn about god's heart for the poor specifically as jesus pointed out in luke chapter four about his tremendous passion for the poor and about his passion for justice and mercy and peace and how he was sent to bring about just that well the problem is folks, a lot of people didn't get that memo and at the Urban Project, what we try to do is give that memo away and show people about God's love, mercy, peace, and truth. Now we do that through a number of partnerships. We partner with ministries around this city and public works as well and try to give away these principles and try to augment and accelerate the work that's already being done in this city. That great work being done by magnificent people about whom we may, we may never read a book, we may never watch a movie, but indeed they're doing God's work in the communities of need throughout this great city. Now we, I would be remiss if I did not mention the foundation of the project. The foundation is biblical, but those biblical foundations are distilled in a book called With Justice for All by Dr. John Perkins. And in that book, he spells out three tremendous principles that Jesus embodied while he was here on earth. The ministry of relocation, that Jesus relocated from heaven to earth to bring about real change in the lives of individuals and corporately in communities. The ministry of reconciliation, reconciling vertically us to God and also horizontally us to each other. And then redistribution. He came from, from heaven and came down to earth and he redistributed this grace, mercy, love and truth. So ladies and gentlemen, you can do the math. 30 days, 50 people, one house, an incredible city, and one magnificent God. Now, at the end of this video, you're going to have information that's going to be able to point you to how you can become involved with the Athletes in Action Urban Project. My challenge to you is this. Pray. Consider. Search your heart about how God might want you to be a part of the Urban Project Los Angeles. God bless you. Thanks so much. Freedom. Galatians 5. We've been created to be free. And we can't let stuff junk our own thoughts. Let's not blame everybody else. Our own thoughts pull us back what God has called us to do. We can't do that. Pray y'all listen. It's all the true story. These are people. We're talking about lives here. I blew for all the feet, those that bring the good news. Carlos was born in Killer Cali, was walking down an alley. He caught a bullet in his head that left him bleeding badly. He lost everything at that moment except for his life. He lost his hearing, lost his movement, even lost his sight. He lay there in a coma, but man, nobody cared. The gospel preached in his neighborhood, nobody dead. But Los got up out that coma and was able to hear. A missionary shared the gospel to his open ears. He got saved, got trained, got discipled. Back to the hood, you can find him preaching the Bible. He led a homie to Christ that's from the same hood. Part of a church plant, come on now, ain't his name good? This is a blessing, I'm stressing, but this is not the norm. We need leaders and believers to help carry it on. But who would minister in the sinister part of town? I pray if Jesus is calling you, you will be found. Let's go. As a kid, he got older, started doing what the hood did. A rival gang caught him slipping, tried to take his life. But then the gun jammed on him, so they beat him nice. He woke up in a hospital singing Bible songs. Praise God, he had a place to learn the Bible from. But then he gets saved and want to preach Christ. They make him change his whole culture, whole way of life. He gotta get him a bachelor's, wear a suit and tie. Go to seminary, by then all his boys will die. Jesus came. Somebody please plant a church in his pride
checks go, Let's go, go, go. He's the chosen one But more than that He quotes Isaiah That shows that our savior Targets the press Cap the blind The broken I'm saying He had a heart for the poor Had a heart for the low And First John 2.6 Is the way we should go In Deuteronomy Even though they under the law The ties every third year The poor would get them all And I ain't saying you're wrong If you live in the birds I'm saying turn your attention To the hood we heard